Jessica Chastain, who usually plays career women, plays a mom in this movie. It's also a movie with Anne Hathaway, who usually plays elegant, loving roles. Mothers is a movie where two actresses showcase their acting skills. It's a small movie where they're the only two actors who do everything, so it's very important. It's a movie with an original novel. It was first made in Belgium in 2018. It was made in the U. Says, Mothers was also produced by Jessica Chastain, the main character. Usually these movies are made with a bit of an Oscar angle rather than a box office angle. It's not a lighthearted prop movie. It's quite serious and heavy, and you have to be on your toes to follow the story. Jessica Chastain plays Alice, and Anne Hathaway plays Sillane, and they're neighbors, and they're very close. They both have one son, they're the same age. And they have a lot in common in a lot of ways, and they lean on each other. Sillane supports Alice in her work. She's a journalist, and she wants to go back to doing housework, and her husband doesn't think she should do it. But Sillane is supportive and wants to help. They also spend time together as a couple at each other's houses. The movie is set during the Kennedy presidency. There's a point in the movie where they talk about Kennedy, and I wonder if the Kennedy era actually matters. The time period doesn't really matter because most of the movie takes place in the house. It feels a little tacky because of how close they are. I think it was intentional, but when Celine and Alice share their difficulties together, they lean on each other. They don't usually do that in Corey either, they just put their shoulders around each other and talk. On the screen, it was an atmosphere where it wouldn't be awkward if they kissed right away. So you can say that they are unbreakably connected. The title means mom, which is a mother's intuition. It is said that the greatest thing is a mother, more than a woman. They say moms have nothing to fear. If you ask her to choose between her friends and her children, she will definitely choose her children. To a mom, her children are everything, especially her son, who is the only one she has. To a mom, a son is also a man which is a bit of a stretch, but it means you depend on him quite a bit. It's a different thing with a daughter. Celine lets her son stay home one day because he has a slight cold. Alice is tidying up the flower beds and finds Celine's son perilously close to the porch railing. She rushes to help him, but he's too busy vacuuming to hear her. When she sees him run upstairs, she panics and runs after him. Alice's son has already fallen, and she has lost the son she loves so dearly. This is where the rift between Alice and Celine begins. Alice's son's favorite doll was put in his coffin by Celine, and when she sees it, she goes crazy and screams that it's her doll. We don't know why she would do this, and we don't know why she would do this, but something is wrong with her. At this point, the movie suddenly becomes hysterical. After the coffin incident, the camera is more from Alice's point of view. Celine is a bit of an observer, and the camera follows her, and the story is told from Alice's point of view. The reason for this is to show that Alice is the problem, not Celine. What Celine does is out of the ordinary, and the expression on her face shows that she's more than just lost her son, she's determined to get him back. Celine's behavior is different from Alice's. The previously close relationship between Celine and Alice begins to twist. When Celine's son dies, she thinks Alice might be able to help her. There's an opening between the two houses. It's a little hard for an adult to get through, but it can be done. When Celine's son dies, he doesn't go through this passage, and Celine deconstructs it. She wonders if the outcome could have been different if Alice had come sooner. She wonders if she made that judgment rather than realizing that she did something more wrong. The story continues to be told from Alice's perspective, but shifts to an objective point of view as new facts are revealed. The movie doesn't have a conventional ending, because it reveals a new perspective that everything related to Celine could be Alice's mistake. Celine and Alice's relationship and their son in the middle. The son completely changes their relationship. The way they both wreck to their son is almost hysterical. Alice is more like that than Celine. It's Celine who loses her son. It's a movie about motherhood. Or a thriller. 
it becomes ambiguous at the end. Anne Hathaway gives a different performance than she's ever given before. And by the end of the movie, you're thinking, oh no, it's not. It's claustrophobic, because Celine and Alice are neighbors. It's just the two houses in the background, and they're the same. But they're different, and then when one of them disappears, the mood of the house changes. Surprisingly, the movie requires a lot of concentration, and at 93 minutes. It's a movie that requires a lot of concentration.